I am gay. I am my authentic self. I am a queer woman. I am a transgender woman. I am a lesbian. I am gay and I'm my authentic self. I'm a parent of a transgender son and I'm very proud of it. I knew I wanted to be in science ever since I was a little kid. I felt that it was really important to be my most authentic self, especially knowing that this was my dream. Queer people can dream big. Exploration needs to be for everybody. Every person, every kid, if they can see themselves, the astronauts that we send out in space, but also in the teams that make that possible, then we're doing our job. We're doing incredibly difficult and complicated things. We want people that look at things from a different perspective that can bring us you know, new ways of solving problems and diverse and inclusive teams do that. If someone is in the closet and they see people like me doing our jobs, being effective at our jobs, I think that's the, that's the biggest encouragement that I can give them is to show I can be my true self and I can do my job. They accept me 100%. We're all together working on this. Who I am is enough. And when you resonate that kind of pride within yourself and you exude the love that you have for yourself, before you know it, you've got a tribe of people who are just motivating and uplifting one another. That comes from being your authentic self. There's someone in the world struggling like you who needs to see someone like you to keep going. There's someone who needs an example and you can be that. I am non-binary, I am gay, I use they, them. There was one instance where I was participating in a candidate lunch and they actually also use they, them pronouns. And it just felt really nice to see someone else in the room using those pronouns and it, I made sure to introduce myself with my pronouns so that they could know you're not the only one here. There's someone here who understands you and, and really just wants the best for you. It requires some bravery, but take the leap. Just be honest, be yourself. And if you are yourself and they accept you, then you've found what you need. I've learned how to be confident myself and I've also sort of established myself here. People know me. I get to work with smart and capable people and our job is to explore outer space and to uncover the mysteries of the solar system uh, as a daily matter. That's what we do each day. I feel hopeful for the future because of the education that's out there and employee resource groups that NASA has established. I am my true self in love with my wife. And if we can be ourselves, our mission here at NASA becomes more effective. We're all different and we should all accept each other for our differences because that's what makes us special. It's really important that we can show that visibility is safe um, and that you can absolutely be a part of the team and loved and valued for who you are. It's never too late to be yourself. It's never too late to find your happiness. No matter what your identity is in the community, that there's going to be a place for you um, and there's going to be a place for you to not only just be here, but to succeed and to thrive. I am a queer woman and I am NASA. 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 I am NASA.